Theory and practice are important components of teacher education programs, including initial teacher education programs. Generally, teacher education programs have these two important aspects, the theoretical aspect or the theoretical component and the practical aspect of the pract practical component. Um, it is important for a teacher education program, especially initial teacher education program, to have a good balance of theory and practice or the theoretical and practical components in order to make it effective for beginning teachers. In this presentation, I would like to discuss the, the theory practice balance and the impact of the theoretical and practical components of teacher education on the effectiveness of the initial teacher education programs. Um, in a previous presentation, I discussed the definition of teacher education. So this is just to um, reiterate that particular definition of the teacher education. So teacher education refers to the process of imparting knowledge to and developing attitudes and skills of prospective teachers that are deemed essential prerequisites for becoming effective teachers. So generally, there are three types of, of teacher education programs, the pre-service or initial teacher education programs, and the in-service teacher education programs, and then teacher education programs that are aimed at the continuous professional development. So in today's presentation, we will discuss the important components of the ITE or initial teacher education. Generally, the theoretical components of initial teacher education programs um, refer to the various theories of education, um, the theories of pedagogy or the theories behind the, the process of teaching, the theories of learning as well, um, the theories of personality and intelligence. So these are important theories that are generally, uh, that generally provide base for the theoretical components of the initial teacher education programs. Then we also have generally foundational theories. In other words, those theories that actually make the foundation of the teaching learning process in general and of teacher education in particular. So in the foundational theories actually refer to theories that are philosophical, the, the, that provide the philosophical basis of, of the teacher education and education in general, the psychological, sociological, economic, ideological, historical basis of the process and product of education. So generally it is deemed important that teachers, beginning teachers need to have some understanding and some exposure to these important philosophical, psychological, sociological, economic, ideological and historical basis of education or the basis that have provided the, uh, the foundations to the process of education. Um, then the third um, area uh, in, in terms of the components of the, the theoretical components include the subject specific theories or, or contents. So for example, there are generally uh, school subjects um, that have been divided into science subjects and social science subjects and arts and humanities subjects. And so on the basis of that division, there are generally theories related to the teaching and learning processes in sciences and in social sciences and arts and humanities. And so it is deemed important that these theories are also included in teacher education. And, and initial teacher education. Theories related to the, 
to concepts such as uh, school organization. So school itself is an organization in which the prospective teachers or the beginning teachers need to be inducted. And so they should have some initial idea of what school is, how, what is the nature and structure of, of the school as an organization, then many of these teachers uh, might ultimately become educational leaders. But um, every teacher, even if they are not running a school as a leader, are actually playing the role of a kind of subject leader, leader or educational leader even as a classroom teachers. And so educational leadership is, for example, an important area. Um, so some theoretical components of concepts related to educational leadership are generally part of the initial teacher education. Then curriculum, what is curriculum? The teachers need to know about, to know about it. What are the basis of curriculum? What are different types of curriculum? And also, what is school curriculum? So how is actually curriculum developed? These are important, important aspects of this particular concept that initial teachers, beginning teachers need to know about. Assessment is an important uh, aspect of the schooling process, of the educational process in schools. And so beginning teachers need to know about the what, why, and how of educational assessment and measurement and evaluation. And so there are theories related to the various types of educational assessment, measurement, and evaluation. Um, and so the beginning teachers need to have exposure to those theories as well. Now, um, as I said, this presentation is about thinking um, about a balance of the theory and practice. So generally, there are three types of uh, initial teacher education. Um, there are teacher edu initial teacher education programs that are much, uh, uh, very much focused on the, on the theory. Or, so I call those the theory-focused edu teacher, initial teacher education programs. Such uh, educational programs follow the philosophy of technical rationality, where the focus is on epistemic knowledge or in generally the, the, the teaching or the teacher education is considered as a science with established theoretical base. And so the beginning teachers um, are deemed to they are required to have extensive exposure to those theories generally because the theories are associated with the university um, or the higher education institutions where teacher education is uh, provided. So such programs with, uh, which are more theory-focused theory are generally universities-centered, universities and the focus is on foundational subjects. Um, such as the history of education so, uh, and the sociological, sociology of education or philosophy of education and the psychological foundations of education. Then the second one uh, is the second type of model is the practice focus model where um, generally it is, uh, I also call it apprenticeship model because here, the teaching is considered as an art, as something that, that is actually like a practical skill. And the learning, te learning, teaching through imitation, experience, and practice. So the focus is basically on uh, developing the practical classroom or school teaching skills of the beginning teachers. As a result, this type of, uh, of initial teacher education might be, or teacher education might be focused, generally centered in the school. And the focus is basically on the how of teaching, or in other words, how school, school subjects uh, need to be taught. So what skills beginning teachers need to 
know to have in order to teach the school subjects uh, properly and successfully. But generally these two are kind of exclusive models and generally we um, in most initial teacher education programs uh, these days the, the pragmatic approach is adopted where there is a blend of theory and practice um, in terms of preparing beginning teachers. So the theory uh, in the blend of theory practice model, the theory is basically something that informs practice. The practice is basically the dominant um, component because the pragmatists in the teacher education uh, philosophers or thinkers, their view is that the beginning teachers need to teach well, need to have the expertise, to learn the expertise, to, uh, to be practical and successful teacher inside the classroom. So they need to have some theoretical knowledge in order to inform their practices. But the focus is on practices, but at the same time, theory is not totally excluded. And as a result, there is a partnership between university and school. So this type of this model follows the university school partnership uh, system. And so there's a balanced focus on the foundational subjects and also on the what and how of the school subjects. So generally, the beginning teachers or the prospective teachers have exposure to, to theories, but they are expected to um, actually have sufficient knowledge of the theoretical basis of education in order to implement those theories in the school context. Um, and in order to become expert and successful uh, subject teachers inside the school. So here is an example of the third model or the pragmatist approach to the um, initial teacher education. And this example basically is like this is, uh, this is one of the examples of this pragmatic approach, this practical approach with, with adequate theoretical grounding as well that I studied as, um, as part of my PhD study. And this is an example of the PGC or the Postgraduate Certificate in Education program in England, where the postgraduate candidates are, uh, are basically postgraduate uh, students who are the prospective teachers or candidates for the PGC program. Generally, this program is uh, like one year program, which is actually nine months. And these nine months have been further been divided into 36 weeks. And the program is based on school university partnership, where generally the students remain in the school for around 24 weeks, observing the, the, the school life, observing how teaching and learning takes place inside the classrooms and also reflecting on those observations. And then they also do practical teaching as practice. So as you can see that the majority, major part of the PGC program is kind of practical school-based exposure to the, to, to the real uh, life of the schools. And then the eight weeks are actually in the university. The university leads on the theory or the pedagogical aspects. So the theories of gen general theories of knowledge and, and education and teaching and learning, um, the how and why of, of the teaching. The school leads on the teaching, the teaching practice or the practical aspects of uh, the, the teaching um, uh, actually the teaching profession. So as a result, the blend of, there is a blend of school-based and university or HEI-based tasks and assessments 
and practices. Um, so, m mostly in school, students, as I said, are involved in observations and in, in practical teaching, and they are reflecting on their, uh, uh, on their practices and on the, the practices of other senior teachers. And as a result, there is a kind of mentorship relationship between the students and the school teachers. In the university part of it, the students are exposed to the theoretical sides of the process and product of education, but they are also uh, the university part of, of the PGC is also quite practical in the sense that there are subject areas that are covered under the supervision of particular university faculty who have expertise in the teaching and learning of those particular school subjects. And so the university professors or teachers and the school teachers, uh, they, have, they collaborate with each other in terms of uh, uh, thinking about, in terms of evaluating the progress of individual prospective teachers. This model in, involves um, and, ex, and there, is, there are expectations of good deals of readings, observations, and practices, and reflections, and writings on the part of the prospective teachers. So the prospective teachers have to read a lot, they have to observe, and then they get involved in the practical process of teaching and learning, and, and they have they need to reflect on those and to write those reflections in journals and in their assignments. Um, and so there is, this, is, this is actually a very rigorous and I, I should say balanced practical and pragmatic approach. So the PGCE as an initial um, teacher education program, uh, I personally think is, an, is a very useful program where there is a good balance of the theoretical and, and practical components of the process of learning as beginning school, school teachers. So generally teacher education, initial teacher education particularly, should have a good balance of, of both the theoretical components the, and the theoretical basis of the process of teaching and learning and also the candidates, the, the prospective teachers need to have exposure to the practical school life, a good deal of exposure. So generally there should be a balance uh, tilting more, more towards the practical uh, teaching because it is there in practice that students can apply the theories that they think about, that they learn in the universities and that they can reflect on and so they, uh, they can become practical um, and successful teachers, beginning teachers, when they, have, when they go through this, this type of a balance of theory and practice in their initial teacher education programs.